Hey YouTube, this is your life after 30. Um, back at it again. After that last video, I had to go and uh, straighten up my face, you know, fix my little makeup that I'm going to start trying to wear, as y'all can see. I really don't know what I'm doing, but I watched a couple of YouTube videos. I finally, I found me some um, foundation, as you can see. You can't see the little dark marks and stuff on my cheeks and stuff. And it's a really good foundation, really, really good. It doesn't come off on your finger. Got me a little eyeshadow right there. You can't see it too good off in here because it's the lighting, but it's a gold color because I only wear neutral colors when I wear them. So, little reddish looking little lipstick, kind of dark burgundy or burgundy or whatever. But anyway, had to fix my little makeup up, you know. Can't be crying on the screen. Anyway, but I'm feeling much better now. Um, but this here, I guess, <clears throat> this here would be um, a little rant or something because. I just wanted to get some things off my chest and everything. But anyway, this here was basically is because, okay, you know how, like, say for instance, this here is to people that's trying to lose weight or ever have lost weight or whatever. People come up to you and they say, oh, girl, you look like you're losing weight, you know, or whatever. And the thing about it is, the crazy thing about it is, I know that I'm losing weight. Because I started out at 470 and now I'm 434. So, I mean, you know. That's a good 36 pound drop right there, even though it fluctuates up and down. Um, but I'm on the right track, so I know I've lost weight. But to hear somebody say, girl, you look like you're losing weight, the first thing come to my mind is, for some reason, oh, trick, you trying to be funny. And I don't know why I think that. So, anyway, what brings me that up is that I was at work and this girl came up to me and she was like, Oh, CC, they call me CC at work. She was like, Oh, CC, um, you look like you're losing weight. I can see it in your face and I can see it in your midsection off of your uniform and stuff. So I said, Oh, thank you. That's what I told her. I said, Oh, thank you. You know, I'm trying. It's hard, but I'm trying to lose the weight. And she was like, Yeah, I can tell. So she come back later on and she was like, CC, um, I just want to ask you something. So I was like, Okay, what? Um, when I had made that comment to you about you looking like you lose weight, you had kind of like gave me a look like, and I was like, huh? She said, yeah, you gave me a look like, yeah, right. And I went to thinking about it. I was like, I guess my look, it portrayed what I was thinking. Because I damn sure was thinking, oh, you trying to be funny or something? You know what I'm saying? And she said, because she said I looked at her like, so I'm like, and I just basically explained it to her. I told her, I said, well, you know, when a person come up to me and they tell me that I look like I'm losing weight, although I know that I'm losing weight, first thing come to my mind is, oh, it's a trick you trying to be funny. She was like, what? She was like, Cece, you're crazy. I said, well, you know, hey, that's just who I am. So, basically, I don't know why I think like that. I don't know if anybody else think like that. If you do, hmm, I don't know. Maybe you can enlighten me on why you think like that or why we think like that. So, that was one thing. Another thing is, like, um, when you decide that it's time for you to make a change. It's time for you to change your life, um, your eating habits, exercising, whatever, whatever. When you decide to make that change, why is it that some people in your life, you know, whether that be family, friend, or associate, work, whatever, some people in your life don't understand that and they... It seems like they try to come at you and get you to get off your game. Um, for instance, at my job, they always go out to get food like a Whataburger Jack in a Box uh, and stuff like that. And I'll tell them, you know, uh, the majority of the time, I say maybe once or twice out of the month, I will order something out. Because so, I'm not going to lie, you know. Once or twice I've been in, came to work and, and try to wait till I get home and can't wait. So when they go out and get something out, sent for something. But... The majority of the time, I'm like, oh, I'm good, you know. I brought a salad, I brought some baked chicken, some salmon, something like that there. And, you know, most of them, my coworkers know that I'm what I'm going through. And they like, oh, that's good, you know what I'm saying, you're doing good. But then you always got that one little, you know, one little person over there in the damn corner. Oh, girl, you need to go on and eat. You need to go on and order you something from Jack in the Box, this, that, and You know, and I'm thinking like, who the hell are you? First of all, you don't know me, number one. Number two, if you did know me, you wouldn't dare 
offer me no shit like that. You know, that's just like offering a damn alcoholic that just told you I'm in the 12 step program. Oh man, come on, get you something that's fifth gin right here. It's going down. That's just like offering them that right there. You know, that's crazy. And I don't know why people do that. Though. I don't know if they know that they're doing it, uh, if it's unintentionally or if it's intentionally. But the way I, ex you know, take it in is, you know, you're a crazy motherfucker. Why would you talk, you know, tell me something like that? But then you don't know what I'm going through, so I can't even take it like that. Though. I just smile and say, no, I'm okay, I'm okay. I, I got my lunch or whatever, you know. But deep down inside, I'm thinking, you stupid motherfucker, don't offer me something when I just told you I brought my own lunch. You know, excuse my cussing, but that's the way I feel. Um, <laughs> another thing. Uh, hello. Uh-oh. That's the scale down there talking about hello. Anyway, let me let her stop talking. Okay, another thing was, um, when you, like I said, when you decide that it's time for a change, you change in your life or whatever, and different people in your life, family, friends, co-workers, whatever, um, my thing is this, sir, I'm not finna offer no advice on losing weight because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm know what, I'm trying to do what's best for me, and sometimes it works and sometimes it don't work. So, I'm not finna act like I'm just this old, um, weight loss guru, you know what I'm saying? Now, you want to talk about how to get fat, I can help you because I'm a pro with that. But, anyway, but if they turn around and they ask you, so what is it that you're doing to lose weight, you know? And you tell them, oh, I'm trying to do this, I'm doing this, I'm doing that or whatever. Then you turn around, you you asked me what I was doing, so I told you what I was doing. But then you turn around and critique what I'm doing, and your ass is just as fat as I am, and you ain't never once said that you're trying to lose some weight. You ain't never once said that you're trying to do anything to change your life or get healthy. But you want to sit up here and tell me how to get healthy. Back the hell up with that though. You know what I'm saying? How you going to tell me about how to get healthy when you haven't even made up in your mind that it's time for a change? You know what I'm saying? That's just like the pot calling the kettle black. Who are you? So that right there gets to me. Just crazy. I mean, I'm not going to give you no advice. I'm not going to tell you nothing about what I'm doing unless you ask me, you know. But don't try to sit up and tell me uh, what I need to be doing when your ass sitting right up beside me and you're not even trying to do nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when you walk in my shoes, then we can talk. Other than that, there, deuces, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, I think that's about it right about now on um, my little rant. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, but I've been postponing and stuff. So, But, yeah, I think this video been long enough. I'll come back at you again. Deuces.